Today in this video folks, I'm going to teach you guys on how to get Legacy XP 2.1 on your Nintendo unmodified Wii system. So for the things you are going to need for this video, you are going to need a copy of NTSC's version of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and you're also going to need a Gen 1 SD card, no bigger than 2GB and no less than 2GB. Um, this particular card must only say SD on it, it can't say HC, it can't say XC, it can't have any of these newer standards that SD cards have. If you try any of these particular other standards other than SD, unfortunately Super Smash Bros. Brawl will not recognize the SD card. So with that said guys, let's show you guys on how to modify your SD card to get it to work with Smash Bros. Brawl. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is click on this link right here. This will take you to Mega Uploads File Holster. Highlight both of the files and hit download zip file. Now this is going to take a little while so let's give it a few minutes. So while I wait for this particular mod pack to download into my computer, uh, let's basically take a look at the SD card and get it prepped up. I have my SD card in this particular bag. I hope that God that they sent me a 2 gigabyte one that has no special things on it. The picture on the eBay site is 100% correct. If you guys need to grab one of these particular cards because yours won't work for some reason, I'll leave a link to this particular seller on the internet. So let's put this into my computer and see how she goes for getting this particular drive formatted for the right uh, format setup for the Wii. To be able to do that, you're going to want to go to this PC and head to format. In here, you're going to want to make sure that it's FAT32 and you're going to want to hit the start. Now before you hit the start, you will end up deleting all your information off the card, so make sure to back it up if there's anything important on it. The next thing that you guys are going to need to do is to take your Legacy XP software through WinWar and look for the one that says Wii. Open this up and you're going to want to take the files and copy and paste them into your SD card. Because of the slow rate that Generation 1 SD cards have, we're going to speed this along because this is going to take a little while. It can take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes for you folks. The next thing that you guys are going to want to do is to take your copy of Super Smash Bros. and put it into your system. Do not put your SD card into your system yet. If you happen to do that, you'll end up crashing your whole entire game before you can even get it really started. We have to configure Brawl to be able to accept this mod kit. And the way that you end up doing that, you end up heading into the stage selection tools and you end up basically deleting out the pre-made stages here. Put your SD card into your system now and go back into the stages now. You will see right away that we're launching something and that is the client that allows this whole entire thing to work. So what I ended up trying to do here is go into the update client and try to see if I could get it to update but unfortunately through a 10 minute wait I really couldn't get it to work so I gave up on it and I ended up going into the playing part of this modification. Because of the low SD card transfer rate this takes a fair bit of time to load. Unlike the PC this takes like 3 seconds to go so we're going to speed this up. So like that guys, we got the modification working here, and you can see that we have all the characters intact. I'm going to pick two that the Project uh, Legacy team has added. Uh, I'm going to add Young Link, or play as the Young Link, and I'm going to be playing as Metal Sonic. So um, yeah, let me just get that character once again. And you will definitely see if you're familiar with the full client that we are definitely missing some stages here. And they're not in the exact same order as what you would see on the full client. So I'm trying to find the final destination here. And uh, I will eventually find it. Three, two, one, go! 
So for the people that are wondering what we ended up losing in the light edition of the software to get it to fit on a 2 gigabyte card, it really looks like we lost most of the Smash 4 stages and most of the 64 content for Smash. Now it looks like most of the Project M content is intact here and the legacy content that was made for custom leave for legacy XP. Now it's nice to see that the legacy XP team managed to do the same thing that the Project M team did and get this to work on an unmodified Wii system. Now for the people that want to invest the time and homebrew their system, I highly recommend to do that because you are missing on so many features in this game that had to be cut to get it under 2 gigabytes for this SD card hack. Now if you're not feeling comfortable homebrewing your system, there is videos on my YouTube channel that shows you how to get Legacy XP 2.1 full edition on your PC. And really the only things that you really need for those videos on the PC tutorial side of this modification is having a powerful enough computer that can run Dolphin Emulator and with the newer versions of Dolphin, Dolphin is fairly good at running on most average computers today. So if you guys enjoyed the video for today, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in another tutorial.